We are back. Had me some two... Uh, what is it? Black Forest ham, spiced chicken, wrap with some... Uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, pepper jack cheese. Wrapped in a flaxseed tortilla. Low on carbs. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do low carb right now. <clears throat> Just to get my blood sugar where it needs to be. I feel like it's definitely lower than whenever... I feel like it's lower than it has been in the past couple of days, so... I don't feel as shitty. You should check the Midnight Channel tonight, too. Yes, let's do that. Let's hopefully stop the murder of, uh... Yukiko-chan. Something appear on TV? I also got these keto bars that are only 180 calories or something. <coughs> That's your mom. Go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to not a dream, not a hoax. Albert. Princess Yukiko's hot for her prince charming, and I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Oh, okay, so it's her persona, who's like a sex crazed maniac because you know she's supposed to be proper. That's usually how it goes. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. <laughs> Sex crazed maniac. That was Yukiko san for sure. It looked like her and I mean she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before too? What's going on? Lover's persona. Try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact you, Kyo-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Yeah, so far there hasn't been much going on in terms of, like, class. Oh, good morning. Seems that only Nanako is here. Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. For work? If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. I got the Walmart channel. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Maybe you should. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Why, well, yes, I was, cousin. I was wanting to go, um... Sorry for the holdup. To save our friend who might be murdered. Found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've hey, got cool. Our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. Where'd you get those? You just have katanas in your closet. I guess you are Japanese. So, which one strikes your fancy? Well, seeing as how I'm a two-handed sword wielder, I guess the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Oh. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Yes, I, I do like dual wielding. Hmm. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? Dude. Hopefully that shit isn't sharp. Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. Requesting immediate backup. <laughs> huh? Oh, 
crap. No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. I guess that we're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> you were taken to the police station with your scared suspects. Man, if she dies because of this bullshittery, can you imagine? You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Let's not look into it further. Hey. Did he say Amagi? And she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Was I in your way? Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? I oh, am. Uh, can we ask you something? You got a TV it's around here? Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way... Did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Hmm. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? She hinted a lot of things. Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Oh, wait, are you... I think you're Barbos the Stormblast. Sorry, I got it right here. That just sort of sealed the deal for me. It's Barbos. It's not the Dawn. Forget I said anything, please. Barbos the Storm Blast. Yeah, yeah, it's all starting to make sense. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? Had something to do with there the murder? Oh, for fuck's sake! Sheesh, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere. Oh uh, well, there was a slight. Everybody knows that you're here. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Man, you've got like three layers of clothing on. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. <sighs> and the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. And stop yelling. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Let's all calm down. Look, we need to save her. the police totally on the wrong track we've got to handle it ourselves excuse me sir i'm going to and that's final i'm going to save yukiko no matter what are oh, you gonna okay. be all right man they just confiscated our weapons we can't go in empty-handed weapons oh i know just the place 
Weapons, you say? Good thing this small town has an armory in it, for whatever reason. I just love making old-fashioned shit. Here we are. The one Scottish guy that lives in our Japanese town. He's got, like, red hair and everything. No, I'm just kidding. Not all Scottish people have red hair. He just happens to be a ginger Japanese guy. They sell all sorts of metal crap. Excuse me. Like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Like here, this right this here. looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. That's it. Come in, underage feel, people, and buy my weapons. You don't. You don't know shit about how I feel. You can come my die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that. Oh, all right. You really shouldn't. Okay, but uh, all right. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Uh huh. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Jeez. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? No deal. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Go send in. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. You got a TV in here, man? Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. And if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Five thousand dollars, that's not a whole lot. Whoa, check this dude out. Old man Daidara. If you come to see my art, please look around, take your time. Uh wow. Oh, okay, I was about to say that shit's hella pricey. Hunting Nata. Well, I can't afford both. Chainmail, chainmail. Well, I like to do more damage first. Yes. Do I? I guess sure, why not? Hmm, even though it's such a tiny upgrade in damage. My armor goes up by 8, but I lose defense. I mean, evasion. Headband. What does this even do? Oh, increases strength by 1, increases endurance by 1. Uh, I'm not really playing on hard or anything, so I don't think I need to like try hard too much on this stuff. We'll be fine. If you want something special, bring me your own materials and I'll try to use them for you. I always like seeing new things and trying new techniques. So bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of materials varies. If you bring me the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you. But what I make is up to me. I'm the artist here, after all. I'll be expecting some praise, too. Uh-huh. Gah! There's a bizarre, there's a there's a bizarre door before you. Sorry, bizarre boar. Seems the others can't see the door. So it finally begins. 
only after four hours, not including your lunch break. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Not including your break for lunch, it's taken three hours to get to this point. Whoa, it's that girl. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has so you're an attendant too, huh? Human lives in its approach towards you, but you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> uh -huh. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. Facilitate, you say? My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By <clears throat> mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. But I, like, haven't even gotten any. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. Boy. The tome you see in my hand is the persona compendium. Registering the personas you hold. And giving me this so early, huh? I mean, I guess a whole lot. A whole. A lot of nothing has happened, so... Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. I remember you. <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. I sure hope you're a social link. You feel that you've met her somewhere before. I've met you somewhere. Huh? Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Alternative Excuse girls her. are so Marie. pretty. Her soul is still very young and. Uh huh. Shut up! Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Wow. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand. Oh, is that how you say that? I thought it was brusque. And forgive her for her impoliteness. I guess. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> I mean, the combat boots with the before? Beetlejuice leg stockings. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Mm -hmm. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Hello, small child. Ah, you're the boy Nana-chan was with. Maybe it's okay if it's you. Okay, I think I'll brag to you. I have a younger twin sister. We're lucky twins. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Isn't it? We're the same in every way. My sister's totally worth boasting about. Uh-huh. Did you kind of look at Yomin, Yomin Aisan's books too? The bookstore only sells books specially selected by the owner. It's a specialty bookstore. It carries a vastly different selection than what Junes has. It's fun to see what they carry next. The next shipment date is April 20th, so you should come look too. 420, huh? None of the books grab your interest. 420. 
It's Maruku Tofu Shop. An old woman's tending the store. You know, for a lot of murders going on, this song is rather upbeat. You recall that you're supposed to meet up with Yosuke and Chie at the Jun's food court. Jun's food court. Go to Jun's, yes. Hey, sorry, I got uh, held up in the velvet room. Let me really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late. I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? I'm gonna bag me a boyfriend because I'm such an uptight square. Whoa! It really is that fair from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. It seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey! That wasn't a bad joke. You're not evil, are you? You're acting like fucking Ikutsuki. So, did Pardon you figure French. anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. Hey! How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow! There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. Um... I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? Mm hmm. I, I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. How do you plan to defend yourself, small child? Well, I mean, regular ass teenager that's just shorter than us. What part of town is this? What the? A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. What's a camera? Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Who? Oh. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh, I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey! Do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. I'm very interested in this. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Jeez, we better follow her. She ran off on her own. There are lots of shadows in the castle. A little bit dangerous inside for a girl by herself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Chi. It's hard to do his voice. He's like really high pitched. That girl ran off on her own. That's kind of dangerous. We should capture her quick sensei. That's right. Here, take this. 
Oh, there's two. I gathered all these myself. I'll give them to you, Sensei. Off you go. Oh, you're not a save point? This is bad, Norio. We better hurry after Chie. How bizarre. Be careful. She hasn't gone that far yet. Oh, she ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Wait a second. The shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try to get the jump on shadows before they attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try and land the attack so the shadow does not make the first move on you. Okay. Hey, there's a chest. One revival bead. Yukiko's castle. Okay, so it's not like a... A central hub like it is in the other games. Check this dude out. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, he's fast. And he chases forever. Yeah, you don't say. Wow, is Yosuke aiming for some kill? I don't know. I mean, didn't really work. You guys weak to lightning by chance? Man, so I can't do my whole thing where I like run away and then like try to attack them again. Yeah. Man, these guys hit kinda hard. Man, I kind of really need you to, uh, Good work, fight the dudes. So Shuffle time, hey. You see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recalled what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility Ow. you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp. You must master your fear and reach out to them. Oh, it's Pixie. When enemies are defeated at shuffle time, they occur and a number of cards will appear in your mind. These cards have various effects, but drawing a persona card will allow you to obtain a persona. The attained personas can be used in battle or they can be fused in the valid room to give birth to new personas. In most cases, you will only be able to draw one card. It's like the card that you need depending on your situation. Oh. More personas. Triggering one more during battles and defeating all enemies with a null attack makes shuffle time occur more often. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that gains, yeah. It's pretty much how it was in P3. Idea paper. You feel a surge of energy. Level up. Rakunda. Tarukaja, huh? Um, oh, here we are. Okay, that's pretty much the same. Okay, so I'm gonna have to really try to, like, get the first hit off on that guy. I guess I got too close to him or something. Okay, so, like, that's kind of far away. Let me check. Found a shadow? Hey, where are you at? You're not here with me. Did he despawn and turn around by chance? He's acting kind of crazy. Oh shit, he does follow me out. He follows me out. Get away. Oh god, oh god, oh god. How long does he chase for? Forever? Oh, okay. Okay, he stops like right about here. That's how close can I get? They still get to go first? What is this? That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. Uh, these dudes were weak to Zion last time. Uh, so make it the same one. Great work. Idea paper. Junpei Rebrapu. What was I doing? Oh yeah, Persona. Uh, status is X. Okay, that's weird. That's gonna. She learned Zio now. That's crazy. She didn't used to before. But now I have like two Zio users, which is weird. <laughs> 